Hello and welcome back to Divergent Reactions. Today on the channel, we've got another Alec Bata one, and this is highly requested. This is his cover of Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. I love this song anyway. I, despite my sort of almost slight distaste for Guns N' Roses, I do. I think this is actually a brilliant song, and it's a beautiful song. And I think it's actually lyrically one of the greatest love songs of all time. But I'd be really interested to see what he does on the guitar with it as an instrumental, as a finger picker as well. So let's see. Let's go. Let's just jump right into it because... You guys know how much I love Alex's playing style on this channel. So we're going to see if I can embrace it. Okay, so, so... Right, he's not even playing with his right hand. Straight away, I've noticed something really cool with this. He's in the, in the original. There is a clear distinction between the bass and the lead guitar, and it's deliberately a very clear cut. The two are, as you can hear in his own playing, the two are very separated. And I love what he's done with the left hand and the right hand. So the right hand is playing the bass essentially. I mean, I know he's playing notes with the left, but what it has, what it does, is it gives more impact. Maybe part of it's visual. If you t if you close your eyes and you can't see that, then maybe it's not as obvious. But it does give more punch to the bass to make it stand out more, which is kind of what happens in the original in that respect. So I really like that. It's a really nice touch he's done to make it stand out in that way. It's really nice. So something that's interesting there, again, I've noticed, is that with this style of playing, he's obviously tapping the, you know, the, like I haven't got, a, I should really have an acoustic guitar when I do these Alip songs, but he's tapping the strings for the beat. But you'll notice every now and again, he doesn't do that in the beat. And it's obviously to do with the notes that he's playing. But I'm, I'm wondering how... I'd have to watch this several times to try and work out what he's doing. But trying to work out why he doesn't hit certain beats. Because it'll be it'll be something to do with it probably sounds too disjointed to move from that tap to to picking a note. Almost like an not an impossible move, but it would just disrupt the flow of the song more than not having that tapping in the first place. But then again, it also what it also does is it also brings the melody out a little bit in those particular areas. You've probably heard it, but I'll see if I can find another example of it and just I'll just do my usual thing of rather than pausing it again, just wave. Show it what I mean. It makes it it's a really interesting dynamic because there's no right or wrong answer to it. It's not like a, a bad thing, it's more trying to analyze and work out what he's doing as a technique. so much but you could kind of hear it when he did the strum so the part of the, the strum will have been part of why he didn't do it there but there's other bits as well i'm trying to do it afterwards
Oh, that's nice. This is what, this is what I love about his playing. Like there, just instead of instead of doing a bend again, it might be too difficult to do the bend. I haven't, that's just a sort of a first glimpse analysis, but it plays like a what I would call a blues note to keep it simple. Um, around here, I don't know if you can see that on where I'm moving the cursor, but somewhere around here on the fifth, sixth fret, which would be relative to the capo, would be the third fret. It's a really interesting style. Instead of bending, he slides it. Um. And I love that about his play. He's done it a few times in some of the songs. There. Da -da 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 -da. Again, what he does there is you notice it in the uh the third of the four phrases the third phrase so it's the bit where axel rose normally goes oh, oh, oh sweet child of mine so he, normally he would go i mean he does it better than me but normally he'd go higher but what alec does is he plays an octave lower the melody and again it's to do with the constraints of the guitar and his playing but it it that little things like that are what make it stand out from the original or at least being a carbon copy of, you know, equivalent on the guitar. And I love that kind of thing. It just, it's enough to, on a first listen, throw you off a little bit, but for the right reasons. I really like it. Okay, solo. That's amazing. I love what he did with the little solo. I was wondering what he was going to do with the solo at the end there. Um, that was right. The little, obviously, the run would have been sounded really silly on the guitar. It would have sounded kind of very rigid and forced, but that's brilliant. And I, I just love his style of playing. I think this, to be honest, this is actually probably one of my favorite covers of his so far that I've done on the channel. It sounds the the performance itself sounds so clean and crisp and um I don't know when this one was recorded compared to some of the other ones I've done, but it does sound a lot clearer as well. So yeah, Alec once again, perfect, 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 perfect. Can't even say it. Um, so yeah, please let me know in the comments as always which ones I should react to. This one got commented quite a lot actually, so I thought it's about time I better do it um there will be other ones on the way as well of course so please let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching and please watch another video here somewhere and subscribe thank you